Hey everyone, welcome to the Spa Lap Guide for the LMP2 car on the Mont Ultimate. If I'm going to be honest, this might just be my favourite car so far. It feels really connected to the ground and it's just a real pleasure to drive. Okay, so the braking points in this car are a bit later than the, the hyper, uh, hyper cars and they're fairly similar to the GTE. We'll be braking slightly earlier than the GTE in most cases. Down to the first turn, we're going to be braking just alongside where the 100 board is. We can brake really late here to be honest, a lot later than what you would with the hyper car and just bring the car all the way to the inside. It really feels like it bites up here, compared to the hypercar at least, and make sure to not cut the inside too much and go over the white line and validating your lap. Get on the throttle quite hard here, it doesn't want to oversteer too badly, and don't get onto the sausage curb, just like the other cars, you can cost yourself exit speed if you get up onto that sausage curb. Down towards a Rouge, we're gonna be taking it fairly similar to the hypercar, just a real smooth line. You wanna keep the steering as straight as possible, and just Go straight across the curb as I've marked with the green line there and like I said we just want to keep our steering inputs as smooth as possible and we'll get the most out of Erosion Radeon. At the top again don't cut the top too much like most other sims you can cut quite a lot here not on the Mont Ultimate it's very strict. Now up Camel Straight we go we will get near the top of 6th gear and then we're looking out for the start of the curb for our braking reference and we're going to be braking just before the start of that curb so it's quite similar to the braking point for the GTEs just slightly earlier. Braking hard alongside this curb we bring ourselves towards the inside carrying our speed through this apex we want to cut as much of this curb as we can without cutting over the white line fully because if we cut too much we will invalidate the lap. Bring our car towards the right, we don't want to apex this turn too early. You can drop a wheel on the inside of the curb here. It handles this a little bit better than the hypercars do. Now just be gentle on the throttle because it might snap and oversteer. Then bring the car back towards the left to open up our entry line for the next turn. And then here it's quite tricky. You want to lift off the throttle but then you want to rebalance it to try keep up your speed through this apex. You don't want to get too much onto that curb, don't want to go onto the green bit. You can just use the yellow and red bit, carry our speed through all the way to the outside down to the next turn. Here we can brake right before the curb starts. We can carry quite a lot of speed into this turn and brake surprisingly late. So braking just before the curb starts, double apex the turn so we hit the apex, drift out a little wider and come back in, picking up the throttle, easing the throttle on, using all of the track. Then we bring our car back towards the right where the curb is. And then we're looking out for that little light pole on the right there. That's our braking reference. We're going to touch the brake very briefly and very lightly just before that little light pole then carrying our speed through the apex here. You don't want to get on the grass here, you can use a little bit of the curb. If you hit the grass it'll probably push you wide, but carrying your speed through here is good. You want to use the downforce to get the most out of the car, running all the way out to the exit of the curb. And then down to Puhan, now we want to really trust the downforce, just like the hypercar. We can touch the brakes really late here, just before the Gazoo Racing sign. Stay in fifth gear here, and you don't really want to get onto the curb here. Make sure you don't apex too early as well because then you'll end up pushing yourself wide. You'll make the line really awkward. So apex fairly late and then get on the throttle and then carry your speed all the way to the outside. You don't want to go any wider than I am here. You, if you go any wider past that white line, you'll invalidate the lap and you'll get all over the curb and it's just not great. Towards the next turn, we can brake really late as well. Right where that shadow is, but don't use the shadow as a braking reference because that'll always move. Brake just before where the curb starts, about a car length before the way the curb starts and bring it down to first, uh, third gear, trail braking towards the inside, don't get up on the inside curb, have a late apex around where that green patch is, then keep the car towards the right, hug the inside line, keep to the right, opening up your entry line for the left, then we want to coast into the turn and pick, pick up the throttle again fairly early. Now you can use a little bit of the yellow and red curb there, but not too much, picking up the throttle again all the way to the outside, then to the left. Here we want to brake a little bit before that, that curb starts and we want to have a late apex here. Again, you might want to brake early here, but carrying at speed and having a late apex is ideal and you really want to have a nice exit here. You get too much on that inside curb right there and you're going to get all kinds of oversteer and it's just going to hurt your exit. So don't get too much on that inside curb. Same here, you don't want to get on that slope part of the curb because it'll probably oversteer you and cost you exit speed. So you can touch the flat part of the curb and then carry your speed all the way to the outside building our speed up the back straight and so far it's been a pretty clean lap. Now up towards Blanchemont that's pretty straightforward, it's flat out, just make sure as you'll see we come around to the outside and go through Blanchemont after Blanchemont. Now you just want to get back on the track before the curb ends or you'll get an invalid lap. Here we can break a bit later than the hypercar, between the Avis board and the white line or the 150 board you can break about a couple car lengths after the white line. Hard on the brakes, down to first gear. We want to try have a later apex here and don't use too much of the sausage curb because it will bounce you across the track and that's not what we want. Now for the last turn, it's going to be a bit of a blind turn because when we get close, we're not going to be able to see the inside. So just make sure you do your best to not hit that sausage curb because that'll push you wide and it'll hurt your exit real bad. 
just be real smooth with your steering inputs, get on the throttle, you can get on the throttle quite hard there, and then towards the line. Like I said at the start, this has definitely been one of my favorite cars so far, it just feels so nice. Uh, anyway, I'm going to play the lap through again without any interruptions, so you can see it in one motion, and then after that lap, we'll have a look at the pit entry guide, which is fairly similar to the other cars, but we'll, take, have, we'll have a look precisely where you should be braking. the lap done we'll take a look at the pit entry so through the last few turns you'll take it as you normally would but coming down towards the final main braking zone we'll brake hard but we'll make sure that we keep tight towards the right so we get into the pit entry there we go bring it to the right be cautious don't run into the walls and then get onto the throttle now our little dash towards the pit line there's that little red bit on the fence there that's our braking reference just break a few fence posts before that red one and that should bring us to 60 k's per hour at the line there's no strong braking references there the best we have is that red post break a few fence posts before that one and you should be all right i hope this guide has helped you out with the lmp2 car around spa i'll be doing some more guides around the other tracks in Le Mans ultimate so keep an eye out for those and thank you for watching see you guys soon